In this video we're going to review a multipolar motor neuron which is what you're seeing at this moment. We're going to start down here at the cell body. You can see the entire cell body here with these larger processes extending from the body that you see in gray here. These are the dendrites of this motor neuron. The smaller processes you see here are actually the synaptic terminals of a presynaptic neuron. So these are just supposed to be representative of the telodendria and the synaptic terminals coming from another neuron. If we look at this synaptic terminal right here, they've actually painted it so you can see it as an interior view of the synaptic terminal. So these little yellow fibers here are actually synaptic vesicles, which you see in this larger representation here. These synaptic vesicles contain neurotransmitters. You'll also see a mitochondria in here and some nissle substance and cytoplasmic skeleton. So this model here represents an entire synaptic terminal. It's a blown up version of what you view here on the body of this multipolar motor neuron. You also notice the nissle substance in blue here, analogous to endoplasmic reticulum in a typical cell. You see the nucleus, you have a Golgi apparatus, the yellow segments here are lysosomes, and the single red segments are mitochondria. This would be your axon helix and the initial segment of your axon. This long slender cord running right down the middle is the axon. You can see it's been cut away again here to show the axoplasm inside with some nissle substance and mitochondria. The gray material right here represents the axolemma, that's the outer membrane of this axon segment. These larger yellow structures are Schwann cells. These are a type of glial cell found in the peripheral nervous system. They maintain myelination around the axon. These layers that you see me striking here are the myelination layers. The outermost membrane of this Schwann cell is called the neurolemma, as another name for the Schwann cell is the neurolemma site. You see two Schwann cells here, and where they meet is called the node of Ranvier. It's a small exposed segment of the axon, and it lends itself to a very fast type of neurotransmission called saltatory transmission. If we move a little further down the axon, you can see this tough connective tissue layer called the endoneurium. This wraps every individual neuron, just as in muscle, we had an endomyceum wrapping a single muscle fiber. Same process here.